The actual wasp nest that I think has like 35 million views. Pizza Hut shoes, black box. Meteorites, dinosaur poop, torch from the actual Olympic, a mammoth tooth, a turtle shell, a $2,000 Chanel boomerang. We have shown you so many different angles of our home, but there's one that I feel like deserves a full tour, and that is our office, our YouTube studio. It's one of my favorite places. We designed it specifically for our needs, but if we ever move, it'd be a really good pool house. So today, I'm gonna take you inside our office and give you a full tour, show you what we thought about and uh, what things maybe we could have changed or wish we would have changed. Let's go check out the office. So Benjamin Moore actually sponsored this video. Every paint color that we have is Benjamin Moore. This is what you usually see when we film a video. This yes. is our setup right now. We've got this camera right here that has a really wide lens and it captures everything. You can kind of see like the marshmallow helmet over here. You can see our What's Inside logo over here. This is our second angle camera right here and it has like a further away lens but it has really high quality. I've never used nice cameras. Close up, zoom in. Zoom. And it's like really high quality. Yeah. Zoomed in. Yeah. Oh, did it zoom in? Yeah. So this is what it looks like from the other side of the table. You would come over, we've got this ring light right here where the camera sits in. This one that comes out of the ceiling. This other one that comes out of the ceiling, both of those are adjustable. And then that right there, we were thinking originally of having our table right there, but um, it didn't work out. So I'm gonna move this over so that we can get a really nice like overhead shot that looks right down on the stuff. This is room number one and the wall opens and shuts you saw in our other video, it's really slow. I wish it was like 10 times faster, but it is cool that it shuts so that we have some consistent lighting in here. This one up here still is always there. We don't have shades for that yet, Yeah. but the pool is just right outside. We got the old unicorn looking at us all the time. I should do it again. So closet on this side and then the bathroom. We've shown you this bathroom. We've done a whole video on the toilet. <laughs> And we did an Instagram TV on this fancy mirror that has Amazon Alexa built into it. So if people are swimming and they want to come in and go to the bathroom, this is the one we let them use. If they want to shower after or before they go swimming, whoever showers before they go swimming, I don't think anybody does. Ooh. So this is our editing room. The plan of this is to have it be somewhere that we can work. And then this desk right here is supposed to be for Hunter. He's one of our employees and he was going to work right here. What it's actually turned into since we moved in here because there was like a quarantine and people we're supposed to stay at home has been me in here working, Lincoln doing homework over here because he's not actually going to school. And then also the desk for Hunter, we're not using it because Hunter is staying at home and working from home. This is a Stonington gray on the doors. I love the color, especially with the black handles on here. We knew that we wanted to use higher quality paint inside of here, like professional quality paint. One thing I've struggled with since we moved in is it just feels too bright. This is the same color paint that we have inside of our house. I wanted like a gray because filming with a gray is something that's a lot better for the video, like in the background if you're filming. I kind of like it a little bit darker. And so for the last few days, Leslie and I have been using the Color Portfolio app. You can take a picture or a video and then touch the color and it changes the color on the wall. You can go through all of the different paint swatches. I thought that I wanted light blue in here, but then when I went into the app and I put it on the wall because you know what's inside, light blue, Leslie was like, heck no, you're not doing that. It was really nice to be able to compare it side by side to look at the entire room. We have picked out the color inside of this room. It's going to be Stonington Gray, but it's going to be an eggshell. So it's going to be very similar to what our baseboards are. So then all we had to do was call in our order. I'm at home, I have time. They said it's gonna be ready in 10 minutes. I'm gonna go pick it up. I just have to go into the store, grab it, and come back home, and we're ready to paint. Here we go, Stonington Gray, Benjamin Moore, And here's what it looks like after. We should have done this from the beginning. We should I'm have sorry. gone dark. I'm sorry. It kind of makes me want to figure out what we can do for the other room now. So good. Like I kind of want to do a project with that because the walls are almost white. They look white compared to this. It looks really good though. I'm excited to get the rest of the stuff in and see how everything works. Good, that's why I brought you here to help me move the stuff in. <laughs> that's my job? Yeah. Okay, that's a start. That took forever for us to just do like all the cables. Lincoln's gonna come back and be like, you plug it in the wrong spot. But I try my best, I try. Ready to see the paint? Yes. All right, come on in. Oh yeah, that looks good. I like how the ceiling still is the same color too. It's yeah. different, whoa. We changed things around a little bit. We put the desks in a different spot. You set it all back up. I tried. Shock. 
<laughs> we are gonna be putting some artwork on the walls, maybe some sound dampening foam so that it doesn't sound as crazy. If you're at home right now and you're looking to do a do-it-yourself project or something at home, I'm gonna put a link in the description to Benjamin Moore's website where they can show you different home projects and ideas and inspiration so that you can do it yourself. I loved using the app on my phone. It was really cool to be able to see the colors beforehand. We ruled out so many colors that I thought that I was gonna do. It really is the paint that professionals use, like professional painters but it's stuff that you can get and that you can use in your home. I couldn't be happier with having a studio inside of our house, and this is a big part of it. Yeah. Now let's go into the filming room and show you a lot more about the filming room. Thank you to Benjamin Moore for sponsoring this video. Let me show you around this room. Um, this wall, I absolutely love. These two right here were from a present that YouTube gave us a few years ago. I think it was red jumpsuits. Will you wear it? I've never I'll seen that. The red jumpsuits came in this box, and it had this paper around it. But we did see Whoa. the front of the box. It's my face. We cut that out and we framed it and just figured, hey, it's free artwork and might as well put it on the wall. YouTube, 1 million subscribers for our family channel. I think we're at like 1.4 million now. This is the gold play button. It's super heavy. This is the one that we took on our trip around the world. So this one really means a lot. It's completely scratched up inside of there because it was in my backpack in Dubai and Paris and China. This was a proclamation of the city of Kaysville when the mayor gave us keys to the city and named a What's Inside Day, May 31st, 2017. The wrestling belt that we did with Gary Vaynerchuk, if you ever watch his videos, he sits in his office and just above his head, he has the other half of that belt. So we even have like his book crushing it that's over there. 100,000 subscribers for our family channel. My mom sent us this for Christmas, this little artwork of our What's Inside family. Thank you, mom. Lego surprised us with this. I didn't even know it was gonna happen and Lego just like gave that to us. It's our logo made out of Legos. 100,000 subscriber button. It made our channel go so viral. We did this one and the wasp nest like right around the same time. <gasps> Nobody destroyed YouTube awards. Nobody would ever think of that. Now there's been like people have done all kinds of stuff with them. This was kind of the one that started it all. It was a shock to the entire YouTube world and community. Longest usable golf club. We actually have a Guinness World Record. And then we have to have a spot for a lot of our things that we've cut open. So this is it. Um, the BYU football helmet signed by Taysom Hill and Ty Detmer. The shoes. These are the shoes that Kevin Durant wore. Just wore them so Lincoln could score on him. You can't drill it around the whole time. Oh! oh! What was that? First time somebody ever scored on me, bro. <laughs> he took them off. I took the laces off. He signed them and I cut them in half. And then these KD Nerf edition. Pizza Hut shoes. This one's from the arcade machine, like the Pac-Man machine. This is the black box, or it's red, but we threw this out of a helicopter. Meteorites, the under internet cable, the dinosaur poop, the actual wasp nest that I think has like 35 million views. Weird looking bowling pin that YouTube gave me. Kind of liked it even though my butt is huge. A torch from the actual Olympics. A mammoth tooth, a turtle shell. We also have this that was cut in half. The $2,000 Chanel boomerang is in here. A random history on the internet. Lincoln is a lot taller now. So this is a stand-up desk or stand-up table. If we ever do need to sit down, we can sit right here on this little couch. One of the things that the YouTuber definitely needs is a room that doesn't have an echo. Right now, there's a bit of an echo. Like you can hear it, especially when I'm like further away from the mic, you can hear the sound bouncing off the walls. So we took some sound dampening foam and we put it all over these walls. We need a lot more. So I just ordered some tiles that are gonna go along all of these walls over here. This is the YouTube 10 million award that Casey had that we cut open. We made an extra one for him and he signed it for us, which was really nice. And then of course the present that Zach gave us with this sign up here. I think it looks pretty cool in the background of the video. So you just see like this What's Inside logo right there. What's Inside sign that we had in our last studio. And then a bunch of storage. Inside of here I have like old cameras. I even have the one that when Lincoln was born, just this old Panasonic. These Sony AX53s are really, really good cameras for vlogging, but I break them a lot. Some of the books that we were featured in, Gary Vaynerchuk's, and then this Videocracy book. This is the makings of the Ruby Award that PewDiePie has. That's from Baccarat. This one we're gonna have to talk about a bit more later. But this is a very cool backpack. You can fit a hydro flask in there super comfortably. Sneak peek. I can't show you everything that's inside. We're still working on it. This isn't even the final version. This is one of the prototypes. This is our closet of stuff as a motion sensor. So when I walk in, it automatically turns on. But we won't show you everything on this side over here because it's a lot of stuff that we haven't 
done for a video that we'd like to do for a video sometime soon. We have two printers. I don't know why we have two, just random stuff left over from videos. Like this is our toilet seat. That I actually really like that video if you've seen it. These are just a bunch of drones that I have. This is where I store them with all the remotes, all the extra batteries. In this drawer, it's just a bunch of GoPro stuff. Like all my GoPro things are inside of here. I'm trying to be a little bit more organized and actually putting stuff in groups and places. So um, it is nice just to have a cabinet to put stuff in in a closet. Out of all the rooms in the house, this is Leslie's favorite, right? It is, people always ask me when we did the parade, they're like, where's your favorite spot in the whole house? And I always say this one because it makes your life easier and Lincoln's life easier. It's very functional. I would love to know things that you think we can do better in this room to make it look better, or there's maybe people that know how to film really good videos and there's yes. some tips. But so far, this is where we're at, and I'm pretty happy with it. I love that we have this filming studio that's made off of our specific needs. We tried for years looking for a home that would suit your needs from a studio standpoint, and it, it was a big fit. In Kaysville, we were a mile away from our office, and I didn't like going into the office. I felt like I was going to like some suit and tie job that I had to go to work, but this just feels like it's part of our life, because YouTube is part of our life. I hope you guys like the tour of our dream home studio. This is it. Now, Let's just don't ever move. No, I'm, I'm good with that. <laughs> All right, years. thanks for watching. We have shoes on here. This isn't part of the video. This is just some shoes that we have. Like, um, these ones are oh, yes. golf shoes. We just got some golf shoes. They, those look awesome. Are those sweet? Look at those. This is the first time Lincoln's seen these shoes. With the, this isn't part of the office tour, but nice you know, this too. is what we do sometimes. We've got these ones in here. Four and five, cozy. Ooh. These are really good looking Jordans, Jordan ones. Oh, and then we got these ones. These ones we're giving as a gift to Zach from Jerry Rig Everything because they have a barcode. They have a barcode on the back. And people and think he's like Hitman, you know? There's like a so. video game that's a Hitman. He's not gonna get a tattoo on the back of his head, but we're gonna give him some shoes that have that on there. Okay, that's good. Swim on. Ooh.